The SARS-CoV-2 is an emerging virus responsible for the respiratory illness coronavirus disease 2019. When a person is exposed to a new virus and after an incubation period, the immune system creates proteins called antibodies as part of the body's natural response to fight the infection and to neutralize the pathogen. Antibodies can come in different varieties known as isotypes or classes. IgM antibodies are produced against a viral antigen in the early stages of infection and are detectable after four to seven days after symptoms develop. Following that, IgG antibodies are produced 7 to 14 days after the onset of symptoms and are detectable for months and even years, depending upon the antigen and the individual. These antibodies can also be detected if a person has an infection without any symptoms. The COVID-19 antibody test is used to detect the presence of the anti-SARS-CoV-2 IgM and IgG antibodies in human whole blood, serum, or plasma samples by using a cassette-based systems. To perform a test, the cassette is placed on a level surface at room temperature. Then, one of the fingers is punctured with a lancet. And a plastic dropper is used to take several drops of blood. Then one drop is added into the cassette sample well. Finally, drops of a buffer are added into the sample well to facilitate the test. And the cassette is incubated for 10 minutes. The test kit is a qualitative lateral flow immunochromatographic assay. And the test device contains a sample pad where the combined sample flows down, a conjugation pad which contains gold COVID-19 antigen conjugate. The antigen will bind to the anti-SARS-CoV-2 antibodies in the sample, and two different antigens can be used, one with affinity to IgM and a second with affinity to IgG antibodies. The virus antigen is labeled with gold nanoparticles, which can be used as visual indicator because of the nanoparticles' interactions with visible light. So that, the gold nanoparticles absorb and scatter light, resulting in a red color. In addition, rabbit IgG antibodies labeled with gold nanoparticles exist in the conjugation pad, and they are used for quality control to assess test validity. The test strip also contains a nitrocellulose membrane with three lines, First line coated with anti-human IgM antibodies. Second line coated with anti-human IgG antibodies. And third line coated with anti-rabbit IgG antibodies. In addition, an absorption pad is used in the test strip to move the sample across the test. The sample migrates laterally across the membrane by capillary action. During testing, the antibodies in the sample react with the SARS-CoV-2 antigen and its conjugate gold nanoparticles in the conjugation pad. The mixture then migrates laterally across the membrane by capillary action, and the IgM and IgG antibodies are bound to the anti-human IgM and anti-human IgG antibodies, respectively, while the rabbit IgG antibodies are bound to the anti-rabbit IgG antibodies. Only those conjugated with COVID-19 antigen gold nanoparticle complexes will produce a visible colored line. The test result is positive if both IgM and IgG antibodies are detected, if only IgM antibodies are present, and if only IgG antibodies are detected. When IgM is positive and IgG is negative, the subject's immune system is actively producing antibodies to a recent infection with the target virus. When both IgM and IgG are positive, the subject's immune system is actively producing antibodies to an ongoing infection that likely began more than 14 days ago. When IgG is positive and IgM is negative, the subject's immune system has produced antibodies to the target viral antigen. A negative test result means that the person is not infected with the virus. Or perhaps the person has a recent infection, but the antibodies are not yet produced. Also, since the accuracy of the test depends on the amount of the antibodies, some people may not develop detectable antibodies after an infection. Because COVID-19 is a new disease, we don't know exactly how long antibodies last, so a negative test could mean that the person has been infected in the past and the antibodies are no longer detectable. The test result is invalid if the, the quality control C-line does not show a red color, therefore the sample must be retested.